Hey y'all, Ariel here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a different position today because I'm actually filming. Guess who I'm filming for y'all? Cause ah, okay. So I'm actually filming for Juvia's Place. I'm doing like a commercial. So I have my backdrop. I haven't had my white backdrop up in a long time because I always like film in front of my bed, but. I miss my white backdrop, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. So, they came out with these Radiant Boosters. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but better. Like, it's a little thicker than a tinted moisturizer, but it's not as full coverage as foundation, if that makes sense. So, I did part of my commercial, but... I couldn't leave y'all out, of course. I had to do a full face beat because I have to do the outro anyways. Let's kill two birds with one stone and show you guys a full behind the scenes of the commercial, so to speak. So anyways, let me show y'all. So Javis Place came out with these. They sent me shades one to four and I have shades two and three that I'm gonna use. I already swatched y'all and when I tell you I am in love, I am so in love with these products like I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows I want to keep this on the simpler side because I am doing a campaign for Juvia's Place I actually love the fact that my hair matches the box like it's giving we're twins okay so I'm gonna do my brows on the simpler side. I'm not gonna use a dark brown pencil today. If y'all hear Luna in the background, she is eating honey. But I'm gonna use a brown pencil because I want this to be more of like a soft glam because the product is more so like that clean girl aesthetic, if that makes sense. Like, so let's just say you wanna run errands or something like that, or you trying to get ready for church, or you wanna work and you don't feel like doing a full beat, but you still want some coverage on your face, this product right here is definitely for that. So anyways, let's get started. So I don't think I'm gonna actually have a product list, y'all. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm using in the video. So whenever I edit, I will try my best to actually write it down below in my description box, but don't fight me if I don't okay because y'all like to tussle with me and i thought we was like this like sis i ain't trying to fight okay listen i got my nails done y'all got my nails done ah! so anyways let's get started so i'm gonna use the juvia's not the juvia's place i'm using the ruby kisses auto lip liner in the shade brown i'm not using dark brown but i'm using the shade brown and I had to actually explain this to my sisters because they're trying to get into doing makeup. And it was like, Ariel, this is too bright. This is too bright. I said, I know it's too bright. But trust me when I say, I feel like I'm your professor right now, okay? Trust me when I tell you. Even though it's too bright, your the color of your brows, it's going to give this illusion like your brows are full. Your natural brows are full. Even though it's more on the orange side, it's going to coincide with your melanin. And it's going to give you that more soft appearance versus using a dark brown. Now, don't get me wrong. I love using a dark brown. But if you're going for a more softer look, you need a softer color if that makes sense. So you want to make sure you're going a shade lighter to give that illusion as if your brows are nicely sculpted. You get know what I'm saying? Boom. And all you're going to do is trace the brows. So I know it looks crazy. I know this, but trust the process, okay? Like, just just follow my instructions, okay? I am not gonna steer y'all in the wrong direction. Boom. Now, if you want to use dark brown, you can. Or if you wanted to use the brown pencil in the front and then dark brown towards the tail part, you can do that as well. It's all in how you feel comfortable and how you want your makeup to look, you know. You're the chemist, right? So you wanna make sure that all your ingredients are to your liking so where you can get that good recipe. So we have that, right? Now I can stop right here if I want to, but to give it a more dark effect, I'm gonna go in with my Lancome. This is like a brow pen. You can use this as a wing too. So this is the Lancome Adol. This is the ultra precise waterproof liner. And this is the shade Matte Syrup Brown. So I'm going to go in and just fill my brows in. Now at first it doesn't look like much of nothing. 
but if you keep coating it like once or twice or maybe three times you'll start seeing the coverage of the color I don't want it to be too too dark because I don't know if y'all can tell or not but it darkened my brow compared to this one and then I'm just gonna fill it in on this side as well like that and boom and it's gonna look really really good because I have this highlight brown going on in my hair I had so many compliments on this wig y'all I actually dyed it myself <laughs> okay I really think I want to start like coloring hair and things like that. That would be so fun, so dope. I got so many compliments. The wedding was really, really good, y'all. It was very nice. Y'all, when I tell you my legs are so tight, y'all know I don't wear um, heels or anything like that, right? Like, I'll try to wear a good heel, but baby, I am not a heel wearer, okay? But I literally stood in heels for over an hour. Over an hour, y'all, and now i'm paying for it but it's okay because the wedding was very very beautiful it was very nice i shed my little tear y'all i don't like to let people see me cry okay but it was so pretty my cousin was so pretty i did her makeup i was in a time crunch but it was so nice and i had a really good time um i got a lot of compliments on this hair y'all like i'm talking about a lot even on like when i posted on my facebook what color is this where you get this from dms was flooded okay so to clean up my brows i'm gonna take my faithful la girl pro concealers this is the shade cool tan and espresso so i'm gonna take espresso first since it is kind of like my complexion shade i'm gonna take my brush and we're gonna go ahead and sketch my brows I'm actually surprised that my hair lasted because I really didn't tie it up like that. Like the front portion, child, I was scratching and patting. But this hair definitely holds a curl really, really good. This is the Alley Pearl hair that I did for um, TikTok and Instagram. Um, it had like the three braids and I took them out and washed the wig and everything like that. And when I tell you this hair took the bleach so amazingly, like, is that even a word? Is that, did I even use the word correctly? But the hair took the bleach really, really good. Like very, very good. And that's how you know when hair is good hair. It's still soft. It's not brittle. It smells really, really good. It's nice and flowy and it's still full. No shedding or nothing. Like Alley Pearl, y'all did y'all big one, okay? I love when hair companies have good quality and I know this is so off subject but like I try to kind of slow down from doing hair reviews but I'm about to pick them back up only reason why I feel like I slowed down is because like I've noticed that a lot of hair companies are focusing on getting or pushing out a lot of wigs instead of focusing on quality you got to focus on your quality when you know you're selling wigs and stuff like that because wigs are very expensive. And if you're charging somebody over $300 for a wig, but it's giving $50 quality, that is a problem for me because believe it or not, y'all, I've been sent some good wigs in the beginning. And then after one or two washes, the wigs are trash. Like one wig I did, and it was so pretty when I first got it. Why the wig started feeling like synthetic fibers once I washed it? I was like, hold on now. It didn't feel like this at the beginning. Why is it doing that? I threw the wig right in the trash. Like, y'all know I do my wig sales and things like that. I always have to examine my wigs. That's why it takes me so long to have a wig sale because I try to make sure that I'm not, you know, giving somebody poor quality. So if a wig isn't good, like, the wigs be good at the beginning and that's where I see a lot of people, they, they'll they say things like, oh, they wish they had like the old school way of doing YouTube and hair reviews. Like once upon a time, you could see a hair review and then you'll see three months later, a year later, you get what I'm saying? Like you'll get the post, the post op basically of a wig review. But now it's just like, it's not technically wig reviews anymore. It's just wig installs. So it's like you, you're not really getting the gist of, okay, is this hair good? Especially on TikTok, 
on TikTok and Instagram is so quick, so fast. And I feel like a lot of people are missing out on the truth. But that's what the wig companies are profiting from. Not all of them because there's bomb wig companies that I work with who actually care about their products. Like if y'all see me work with any brand multiple times, that means they actually cater to us. They care about their products. They care about their customers. And that's what I stand for. Like I'm not the type of influencer to just push out BS. I never tried to be that. I never tried to do that. That's not like I could literally show y'all a part of my contracts of what I send these companies. Like, hey, if you send me this, that means that you need to be sending my audience the same, if not better. Like, if the wig isn't good for me, I'm sorry. You gotta give me a better quality or I'm not doing it. Like, it's just that. Like, I've literally had wig companies to not pay me. The way wig influencing works sometimes, y'all, they be wanting you to, like, do stripped it dialogues. And I'm not with that. Like, you're not going to tell me what to say. Like, sometimes you'll see a wig company tell you, like, in their brief or in their campaign, oh, yeah, we need you to say how good the hair is and how good is this and how good is that, how flowy it is. You got to wear makeup and you got to do this and you got to do that. Like, if I don't want to wear makeup, I'm not going to wear makeup. For one, you're going to you're gonna pay me more, okay? And then they'll, they'll ask for like six to seven pictures. They want a full YouTube video. They want a TikTok. Two TikToks, two Instagrams, an Instagram story, the link in the bio. They want all of this stuff but don't want to pay you no sir no ma'am like do i look like boo boo the fool no i've been in the game for too long you're not gonna play me like i'm a rookie even if i was a rookie you're still not gonna play me like no so i kind of shied away from doing a lot of hair promo like i still do them but i'm specific with who i work with because there's companies and I feel like I'm still gonna do that video. There's wig companies that I'll never work with again. Some wig companies has good, decent hair, and then some of them have trash hair. But it's like, I'm all about integrity. I'm all about respect, and you're not gonna play with me. And you're definitely not about to play with my audience. That's just that. I've had several of my supporters tell me like, hey Ariel, I got a wig from such and such, but they didn't give me a tracking number. Or I still haven't received my wig. So I feel like it's a part of my due diligence to at least reach out to the companies and say, hey, I have order number X, Y, and Z. What's up with their package? Cause they trust me. Y'all trust me with my review and it'll make me look bad. Even though it has nothing to do with me, I'm just doing a promo. But at the same time, it does have something to do with me because I brought your company to my supporters. You get what I'm saying? When I speak firm and really, really strict, it's like I have to tussle sometimes with difficult wig companies. Or say you do a video, and I feel like my videos, it's not I feel, I know my videos are good quality. I feel like I can do hair really, really good. I'm not an artiste. Now, when it comes to makeup, that's different, okay? I got that down pat. But when it comes down to hair, I feel like I can do really, really good with, like, styling, like, curls and flat iron and stuff like that. But either way it goes, the fact that you reached out to me knowing the quality of my videos, you know what I bring to the table. Don't insult me and say, oh, well, can you, can you do this video over? We want more of this. We want more of that. I need more money. Thank you. If you ain't got money, I'm not doing it over. You saw what I do. You saw all of my hair review videos. So you know how my, my content is. I'm not doing this over. If you want a revision, that's a $100 extra. If you want another revision, that's another $100. If you're late, that's another $50. Do not play with me. In this contract, before you sit that wig, I told you everything you needed to know. So don't act surprised when I, I turn my stuff in and you feel the type of way because I say the hair is, is thin or you feel the type of way when I say the hair isn't X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the behind the scenes that y'all don't see because so many people has this idea that influencers get the best whatever. No, we don't. At least I don't. Okay. I don't. But for the most part, I will say most of the companies that I've ever worked with were a breeze. I never really had such a hard, hard time except for like those companies that just felt a type of way because I talked poorly or I didn't give the wig 
its props. I'm not lying to my people. It's just that simple. But anyways, back to my tutorial because I just went on a home rampage. Anyways, I said all that to say like, I'm no longer doing just wig videos. I'm, this is my channel. This is what I built. And so if you guys start to see me do hair and makeup, that's because I love doing hair and makeup. And I know y'all like watching hair and makeup. Y'all like to see the whole transformation of, you know, us getting cute, getting fine. You want to see the before the during and the after not just a little bit of this and then boom i'm gonna hit you with that like no watching a hair tutorial and i'm gonna say it like this i'm not the best watching a hair tutorial if it's not like a tiktok or anything like that sometimes it can get redundant but with makeup you can switch it up so much to where like you can do a, one look this way and one look that way even though you can do different hairstyles like you can't really do a lot of hairstyles because they don't want you to cut the hair. They don't want you to bleach the hair. They don't want you to dye the hair. They don't want you to do this, do that. Da, 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 da. So it's like, okay, what you want me to do? Because at this point, your wig is looking like their wig. This wig is looking like that wig. It ain't no type of versatility. I'm just saying. But anywho, I digress. I digress. I'm, I'm going to give you what you pay for. I'm going to give you what you pay for. Okay. But don't stress me out when I give you what you asking for. When I try to give you a suggestion and say, hey, I feel like you can still get this, but let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. You get what I'm saying? They don't be wanting that. Okay. So, but now I feel like I'm going to be in control of everything because you're not going to tell me what to do on my platform, even though, yeah, you're paying me. But you're not paying me enough, okay? I call the shots. I'm the CEO. I'm the CEO. I run this hill, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop playing with me. Y'all don't understand how much I be tussling. I be having to tussle, and I know it's not just me. Any other influencer, like, sometimes you be tussling with these emails, okay? They be stressing me out, and I'm like, uh-uh, before you stress me, God gonna bless me another way. Amen. Amen. I say that with Airy Winkle. I say that with these businesses, these hair companies, these weed companies, um, these makeup companies. I mean, like, y'all not gonna stress me out. That's one thing you're not gonna do. Cause just like you watch me and you like my content, there's somebody else who who like my content and gonna pay me more. And want less. Okay? I've been paid more for a 15 second promo versus you wanting a, a 10 to 20 minute promo and you only want to pay me a few hundred dollars. I don't think so. No ma'am. Anywho, I think I'm gonna do, should I do gold? Cause I'm wearing gold. I'm wearing a shimmer silk type of top with the off the shoulder type thing um, to match the hair. I want this to be very much so soft glam. I'm telling y'all, if you see me working with a company multiple times, that mean I rock with them and they rock with me hard, okay? Yeah, I love that for me. Like I literally gain a relationship with some of these PR managers and like these consultants and things like that. Like I'm that girl to them and they that girl to me too. I love y'all, damn, okay? Don't make my job harder than what it gotta be because Listen, I'm gonna make a whole series for y'all. The good wigs, the bad wigs, the good companies, the bad companies, the good products, the bad products. Like, I feel like I need it. It's time. It is that time. It's time. What Cat Williams say? It's time for 2024 to be the year of exposure. It's time to get exposing because you're not gonna play with me. You're not gonna play with my people. You're not gonna play with other influencers. Yeah. 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 It's gonna stress me out want to stress me out it's like <laughs> anyways y'all i think i'm gonna take the warrior palette from juvia's place i love this palette it's just so versatile if you want like that sultry sexy grown woman but you still want it to be on a like neutral soft side i feel like this palette right here is really really good for just that statement piece um whenever you're trying to go out you want to look cute for your man for yourself for your okay you want to be out Mm, 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 mm. And then I also have the Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place as well. I feel like these two palettes you need in your kit because like it's not because I'm, I'm not even getting paid. They're not paying me to do this YouTube video y'all. But y'all know I love Juvia's Place down and I'm always stick beside her okay. These two palettes I feel like you need in your kit. The Zulu palette that orange and that brown and that yellow you need that as well okay. But mine cracked mine broke and my local Ulta doesn't have it. 
okay it's sold out it's always sold out so i'll just have to get one online but these two palettes right here i think i want to go in with the white shadow but then again i might just do like a tan or what if i do this pink i'm gonna do this pink and maybe this brown we're gonna use these two colors right here and then if I feel real fancy, real festive, I'll probably add a shimmer. So I'm going to blend my lid out again and I'll be right back. So before I actually go in with my shadow, I feel like I want to lift my brow bone area up a little bit more. So I'm going to take an even brighter concealer and I'm going to lift the face up. So I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill. This is medium tan golden. This concealer right here is so, so good. I love it so 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 much um i'm definitely gonna have to buy some more soon because i'm running out but i'm gonna put some right here just on the brow bone area kind of like that curved part this is gonna give my face that lifted effect as if like oh she got her brows done honey okay like that and then I'm gonna take my brush. This is the Morphe M173. Y'all know this is my favorite brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and lightly tap this out. Tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. So I don't know if y'all see the difference or not, but this right here, it's gonna make the shadows pop, okay? All in all, y'all, like I literally had a moment this morning and I was like, thank you, God, because even though I get frustrated, even though I feel like I am heavily slept on, God has not forgotten about me. God is so faithful. And like I was in tears this morning trying to set up and I had to wait until my eyes was not red anymore because like if y'all been following me from the beginning, y'all know I've always loved Juvia's Place any other brand that i've ever written down in my prayer book i literally got a chance to work with majority of those people those brands that i i wrote down like i'm getting chucked up already i can't even talk but like those companies that i wrote down in my prayer book i literally manifested that that's so freaking dope to me like god is so good god is so faithful and i'm forever humble like there's moments where i feel like i'm too humble but at the same time like that's gonna get you where you need to be like sometimes i feel so stagnant like dang i'm not doing enough i'm not doing this i'm not doing that and it's like god be like girl hush okay i got you i heard you the first time just give me a second i'm tending to somebody else right now okay somebody else needs me more than you need me right now so in the meantime between time you go play with your makeup brushes you go do this you go do that because when i pull your ticket just be ready like I always tell people that like you never know when God is going to pull your ticket. And sometimes you got to get back in line. Sometimes you got to wait your turn again. Like clap for everybody else who's getting their turn. Because once upon a time they had to wait as well. You got to wait. Maybe it's not your season right now. Like sometimes you just got to wait. And in the midst of you waiting you clap for everybody else you see winning. In the midst of everybody else getting their house and their car and this, that, the third. Yours is coming, okay? It's in the neighborhood, okay? It's right outside your door. All you got to do is just do your part. You do your part and God going to do his, okay? You can't just wish upon a star. Like, growing up, I've always, I always felt like the, the Christian way was... Oh, you got to pray, you got to pray, you got to pray. But you also got to put in the work as well. Like, it's not just, oh, I'm going to wish I can. I wish I can. I wish I can. You can wish all you want to. But if you're not doing your due diligence to get to your wish, you're just selling yourself a dream. Literally. So, it's like, you got to put in your effort. You got to put in some type of work. If you made one step, God going to make 20. You made 20 steps, God going to make 200. You get what I'm saying? Like this was once a dream the fact that i have my own equipment the fact that i i collected so much makeup i'm receiving so much makeup like this was once a dream and the fact that god kept his promise to me in that college dorm room that night child if you know you know i i i'm just like thank you that's the only thing i can say like to sum it all up god thank you 
And I always said, whenever I got my platform, I will forever say thank you, God. I don't care if it gets 100 views, 200 views, or 2 million. Like, thank you, God. Thank you so much because, like, I didn't do this by myself. Thank y'all. Like, I'm, I'm in awe. Like, literally, God is that guy. Every single time. I love that. Like, thank you so much because... Sometimes we can take things for granted and don't realize like it's not even about it's not even about money. Like, yeah, the money be good, okay? I, I love that. <laughs> We're not gonna take that out because that was a part of the blessing, okay? But it's just a simple fact, like I know what it's like to work and be tired and you still can't afford this, and you still can't afford that. Like there's times where I don't have it made yet, but there's times I can go in a store. And half of the time, y'all, I kid you not, I will go in the grocery store, I'll go to Walmart, I'll go to Target, I'll go in Ulta, I'll go in Sephora, wherever, and I just pick up whatever I want. Throw it in the, just throw it in the, mmm, just throw it in the bag. And I want that for y'all as well, like, I want you to have consecutive wins every single time. I, I wake up and do what I love to do, and sometimes, like, I tell my friends, like, y'all, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing it, because... Work don't feel like work, but isn't that the goal? Like, I know I'm not doing my makeup, y'all. I am so sorry, but for somebody who needs to hear this, like, do not give up on your dreams. If it's something that burns in you and you eat, sleep, and breathe it, go do that. Even if it's just a hobby at the beginning. This was a hobby for me, and then I, I went, I was a college dropout and everything like that, and like, boom. You just never know when God gonna pull your ticket. Let people talk about you. I had people tell me I was gonna flip chicken for the rest of my life. And that right there gave me the drive to prove them wrong. Prove your doubters wrong. And in the midst of that, prove yourself right. Like, I'm not trying to get all sentimental and things like that. But if you want to be a doctor, go be a doctor. You want to be a teacher, go be a teacher. Go teach them children, okay? Eventually, I'm gonna have my little one. And I want one of y'all to be teaching my baby, okay? Yeah, I want y'all to, you wanna, you know how to cook? Listen, I'm a chunky girl. I love to eat and I'm trying to learn how to cook, honey. Yeah, I know how to do a little thing or two, but I wanna be better. So for whenever I get my family, I have a husband, I have kids or whatever the case is, I know how to provide and, and feed my children. So make a tutorial, honey. Do a cookbook, okay? Yeah, you got some seasonings? Go see if you can get them distributed in Walmart or IGA or KJ's, whatever the case is, like, Nothing is impossible. Everything is at your touch. It's only going to get better if you actually put forth an effort. And that's just that. That's simply, that. that's the simplest way I can put it. Like, if you want to go get it. Period. I always had that independent, like, go-getter mentality about myself. But if you want it, go throw it in your bag. Go, if you want it, go throw it in your bag and Bible too. Because period. Write your goals down. Make it plain. Be specific. You want a car? What type of car you want? What type of interior? Do you want it on good on gas? What type of rims you want? What type of tires you want? What you want your, your, your day to look like? You know what I'm saying? Like You got to picture it. Write it down. Make it plain. And, and create your plan. That's it. Boom. Everything works out if you work for it. Like, I'm speaking to myself right now. Like, thank you, God. Everything will work out if you work for it. Period. It has no other choice. If you don't do it, we already know the outcome of that, right? We don't want woulda, coulda, shouldas. So go do it. Yeah. My goal was always to literally inspire other women and guys. I'm not going to leave y'all out because I know I do have some guys who watch me. But, like, I've always wanted to inspire other people to say, if she can do it, I can do it. Even with my sisters. Like, I have two younger sisters. And now I have Kinsley, my niece. If Ariel can do it, if Auntie Ari can do it, I can do it. Now they want to do makeup and stuff, and I love that. Because, like, <laughs> I'm already the oldest, but now I get to tell y'all what to do anyways. Okay? Ah! But, um, <laughs> but, like, it makes me feel really, really good, like, I feel like my sisters do look up to me. We all look alike, child. But like, people really do, they rock with me. Y'all rock with me and that makes me feel so freaking good. Like, that speaks volumes. It speaks volumes and sometimes I downplay my blessings. 
I downplay because I don't want nobody to think I'm bragging and I don't want nobody to think this and I don't want nobody to think that. But now I'm at a point to where like I call the shots and we're gonna empty the clip this time. Cause period, period, okay? Thank you God. So yeah, I, I, I don't know who that was for and it just was so random. But like, don't give up on you. Do not give up on you. I remember when I wanted this so bad, y'all. This was when I first began like my makeup journey. And I was talking to um, one of my friends. Well, I was dating this guy at the time. And he's still my friend to this day. I don't talk to him as often. Every once in a blue moon, it's like a, hey, how you doing? Da, 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 da. But at the time we were actually dating, and he and I went to this, um, it was like a Christian conference with his mom and his brother. And at the time I was like, hey, I'm I'm really feeling like not doing this no more. I'm, I, it's not getting me nowhere. Like I should have been farther than what I am. So I'm just gonna throw all my makeup in the, the trash. I have my stuff in the trash bag, y'all, literally. The day before I went to this conference, I kid you not, I had my makeup thrown like I was about to throw it in the trash. And he was like, hey, we coming to Florence and um, do you want to come to this conference with us or whatever? So I went and the man was like, go back one more time. And I was like, yo, all these people I'm talking about. It, I know it was over 500 people at that conference, y'all. And the man literally was speaking to me. I felt like that was that message was specifically for me. The way I felt, I was tired, I was frustrated, I was angry. I'm like, God, now nah, you told me if I did this, that you would do that. When I tell you, when I left that conference, y'all, and I told my, my guy friend about it, and he already knew how I felt. He was like, see, Ariel, that man told you, go back one more time. And I will forever remember that moment and i went back one more time y'all and i started going live on my facebook and stuff like that and like it's just like boom that's what everything just went just like that and i'm like yo that's scary god i am so sorry but that was a uno card okay that was a reverse 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 Reverse, reverse. It was really a reverse type moment. Like I had to sit back and reflect. Like, dang, I was about to give this up, and now it came true. Like a few days, like a few days later, y'all. I kid you not. Like it was like boom, and that's how I knew. Like God will keep His promise. Sometimes it feels as if like He He won't. If you stay faithful, you stay consistent, and you stay dedicated. And you stay prayed up like, mm. girl, listen here, okay? God gonna do it every single time. Every single time, okay? And I love that for us. But yeah, like, don't give up on you. Don't give up on you and don't give up on God because, yeah. How the song say, he's able. God is definitely able, like. Sometimes I'll read y'all comments and be like, oh, Ariel, you should be a you you should be a motivational speaker. I don't, I'm not good with speaking, y'all. Like, I am so weird and awkward in person. Like, I do not, I'm not a talkative person. I really am not. But like, this is my comfort zone. I feel so free when I'm recording these videos. Like, this is my zone type thing. I don't think I could actually do that in public. Like, I'll encourage people in public and stuff like that, but especially younger girls. Like, I like to look at, I like to be that big sister. Because I always wanted a big sister. And I feel like I, I became the big sister on purpose. But, like, even for people who aren't my sisters, like, I like to, I like for my life to speak volumes to people. Younger girls to let them know, like, hey, it's okay to take the slow path. You can't always see where where other people they, they get in the, the big house and the car and the apartment all quick and fast you don't know what those people did to get that so take your time god got you you do your part and it's gonna come to you that's how i felt when i got my car and stuff i don't have the fanciest car but it was a car that i wanted it was a car that i paid for with money that i earned from social media from me doing my hair and my makeup like that's so dope to me 
So I don't care if you got a Mercedes. I don't care if you got this and you got that. I can get a Mercedes easily. But like this is something that I wanted and God granted it to me. What? I'm going to treat it like it's a Benz. I'm going to treat it like it's a Maserati, a Ferrari. Okay? Eventually I'll get one of those. But I'm not really materialistic. So it's like I am content. I am content. Everything that I ever asked God for, except for this one thing, and I'm going to get it, it's going to come. And I feel like I can get it now, but I'm scared. But that one thing that I'm I'm missing, wow, when it, when it comes, I'm going to be ready for it. And I know it's going to come out the blue, just like everything else came out the blue. But when God blesses you, sometimes you got to wait your turn again. And in the midst of you waiting your turn, don't think that God forgotten about you because he doesn't. He does not forget about his chosen people. Like, I like to think that I'm one of God's favorites. Like, one of my friends, the guy that I'm talking to now, he was like, Ariel, I literally seen how you will speak about something or you will pray about something. And it instantly happens for you. Like, that's so dope to me. I, I literally watch you get get blessed i even pray for you and i was like oh that's so sweet okay that my baby y'all but like the fact that other people can see that light it, it it speaks volumes to me that i inspire other people younger or older like i am forever grateful i'm forever grateful i'm not perfect you know i'm not the perfect christian and i'll never be I don't want to be the perfect Christian, but I like to lead by example. I still listen to my rap music and everything like that, but I'm a good person. I'm a sweet person. I'm a sweetheart. Like I, I love love. I love to be that 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 being that people can look up to. That's who I like to be. That's who I I always wish to be. And God granted that for me as well. Like people gravitate towards me. Kids gravitate towards me. Like i'm i'm just that girl okay and i'm not trying to say that in the the cocky way but i'm that person that people like randomly will come and talk to me oh this that and the third happened to me and i don't know how i'm gonna do this and i'm like random strangers will literally come and talk to me and it makes me feel good because like you trust me with something that you probably wouldn't even tell a friend or a family member like thank you for trusting me and i always like greet people with a smile and things like that i'm not a talkative talkative person i've gotten better but it's just a simple fact like it's something about my aura i feel and i've getting i've gotten that so many times like it's your aura it's something about you like you have that nurturing like gravitation i feel like a lot of people gravitate towards me because of that i feel like i became the person that i needed when i was younger and i love that for me because like i i feel like i needed that extra nurturing i felt like i needed that that friend that person that could get on this level even if i was a child like i know how to get down to a kid level even though a kid will still say yes ma'am and no ma'am to me and i'm like oh my god i'm not ready for this ma'am yes ma'am just say yeah to me okay because i'm still young okay mm -hmm. but kids will be like ariel can i do this and can i do that can we do this can we do it? like it makes me feel so freaking good even like older women like i can i gravitate with anybody i love good energy i love positive people i don't like negativity i don't like all that jibber jabber like if you're not speaking positive we're not speaking honey i'm all about positivity so for lashes i'm gonna take my airy wrinkles this is the style honeydew and honeydew i wore these for the wedding actually they were so pretty and dainty they wasn't doing too too much but it was still giving a statement um i don't know if i'm gonna do a wing or not if i do a wing it's gonna be a slight like small wing i think that's what i'm gonna do um let me see what it'll look like without the wing first though but yeah i don't want to do too too much because again this is supposed to be like a soft glam radiant type of makeup look i might not need a wing honestly like this is pretty by itself what y'all think i don't think i'm gonna wear a wing i want my face to be very very like broad like like let's get married honey so i'm gonna put my dual lash glue on the lashes go ahead and let it get tacky and if i want to go along the lash line i'll do that but um yeah i don't think i'm gonna do a wing today gonna keep it simple my goal is to be done at least by three o'clock it's 12 27 so if i stop rambling and talking 
but I love talking to y'all now. Like, I used to be so just shy with it, but now, like, even though I'm talking to a lens, I'm talking to y'all, and it's like, okay, we having girl time. We are on FaceTime doing our makeup together. Like, you're my best friend, okay? Mm -hmm. And again, if you're not following me on all my social medias, if you're not subscribed to me, and you watching me, sis, don't do that. Okay, mm -hmm. I sent you. I sent you go ahead and, and join the family, honey. Yep, mm-hmm. So go ahead and click that subscribe button while I do these lashes. I'll wait. Mm-hmm, I'll wait. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna put the glue on. Mm-hmm. You did it. Okay, good. So now, we're gonna let this get tacky. In the meantime, between time, I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer and moisturizer on my face i'm not gonna put too much moisturizer because the juvia's place product i feel like it has moisturizer in it okay but um yeah we got we about to get cute okay i want to look like the rich auntie today i'm wearing my gold and i'm just gonna look real bougie okay and real radiant um y'all heard that anyways when it's quiet and I'm the only one in the house, honey, baby, listen. Mm -mm. What's that noise? Because, no, I will run out. I will literally get in my car and go to my sister's apartment. Because don't play with me. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not the one. Not the one, two, nor the three. I ain't the ten one either. Is it that? I said it so wrong. What in the world is wrong with me? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so for moisturizer, I'm going to take my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is my favorite, y'all. Like, Kiehl's has the best skincare. Kiehl's and Good Molecule, they're going to get you right every single time. Like, this right here has been one of the best moisturizers for my face. Like, mm, it's not too oily. It's not too greasy. It's not sticky. It kind of reminds you of like the Nivea, but better. Mm. Like, it just, it just does something, okay? And then I'm also gonna take my Lancome. This is the Genifique Serum. This stuff right here, y'all already know how I feel about it, okay? I ain't even gotta say nothing, okay? Now, if you're a newcomer, I'm gonna just tell you this right here get you some okay because mm, i feel like this that serum really helped with like evening out my skin complexion y'all know my neck is darker and everything like that but but this feels so good on my skin like oh my gosh a little bit on my forehead y'all know i don't really put makeup on my forehead like that especially since i do have um this wig on this wig is like three days old and i'm just so surprised that it looks this good because i did not tie this wig up good y'all the curls are still lasting and everything i'm so shocked now i'm gonna take my smashbox the photo finish y'all they sent me another pr package and they got another one in there i don't have to buy another one i am well at least not right now but i am so happy like thank y'all so much your girl be getting PR from her favorite companies. Like this primer right here, it blurs your pores out. Like it gives filter, filter in a bottle. Literally like, what? I see it already. And I like to kind of like brush it into my skin like that. I don't know if it does anything. My chair is squeaking. It's time for me to get another chair. I want a fancier chair. I was thinking about getting one of those clear chairs, but I feel like it's it's gonna be a little too far back and like uncomfortable. I want me a comfy chair that I can like twirl around in. So whenever I'm doing like a hair video or a makeup video and I wanna do the little transitions and stuff, I feel like that'll be fun. So I'm gonna look for one with some gold, um, maybe like a gold and cream, but y'all yeah, know I do makeup and stuff. I'm very clean for the most part. But, you know, when makeup gets to makeup and, and it gets everywhere, I ain't got time. Mm -mm. So, I'll probably either get like a 
a gray one i'll probably get a gray one because most of the color in my room is pink and gray but i want to change my colors up to maybe grays browns and blacks and creams that's the vibe i'm going for like i've had pink and i've switched up my pink but i'm tired of seeing pink so i want to elevate my look and give it more of a modern aesthetic if that makes sense so I'm gonna let this primer and the moisturizer work its wonders into my skin. And in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna figure out what type of lip I wanna do. I'm gonna keep my lip on the nude side, but I want it to be kind of like peachy pink as well. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna take my mascara. I'm gonna take my Ilia mascara. I'm gonna give Smashbox a little break today, okay? I like the tube, well, the wine on this one as well. It's nice and clump like. Just like that. Oh, y'all. I ended up watching um, Mia Copa. That was really good, baby. When I tell you Trevante, it's his name, Trevante Rhodes. That painting scene had my mouth to the flow, honey. I said, okay. All right, but he is so handsome to me. Like, he's so chocolate and that beard. Like, baby. Listen here, I love me a good beard now. Okay, honey do. Come through, honey do. Yes, ma'am. We love that. Cause period. Now me got glue on my lash. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it off. I'm scared I'm gonna mess up. Let me see. Okay, so we got one lash on. It's giving soft glam. It's giving, yeah. I'm about to be a bridesmaid again. That's what it's giving. So I have my lashes on. I'm gonna put a little bit more of my mascara just to blend. It's so weird without a wing, but I feel like it gives me that baby doll effect to my eyes. Um. Yeah, let's complete this look. I'm about to go a little quick with this because it's now 12.41. So I'm actually on good timing. Um, if I could be done by 2.30, that will be even better. And I feel like I will since I got the hard stuff out of the way. So, now that I have that, let me show you guys how this actually works. So this is the Juvia's Place boosters, the Radiant boosters. This is shade number two and three. So I'm gonna use these as um, a radiance booster, basically. So this is gonna basically give me like a light coverage beat, but not necessarily a beat. And I'm gonna put this all over my face. This is glass, by the way, y'all. So be careful not to drop it, okay? I'm gonna put this all over my face. Put a little bit on my nose. And that right here is shade number two. So now I'm gonna use shade number three. And we're gonna put this on as well. A brush from the lip bar. I used it for the commercial actually. And I'm literally going to just tap this into my skin. And it's going to give me light coverage. But it's going to give like that sheer finish. To make it look like, okay, yeah, I put baby oil or something like that on my natural face. And I'm just going to tap it in. You can use your fingers if you want to as well. But I'm not trying to get all messy. It does have a slight smell. It kind of smells like the um, the Radiant Foundation from Juvia's Place. 
and i'm going to use that as well so again you can pair this with the foundation or you can just wear it like this as is And it just gives this boost of like, it, it makes you look real golden like, I love that. And whatever is left, I'm gonna put on my forehead. So boom. Like I said, you can either wear it like this and then allow it to dry down. You can add your powder if you want to. Or you can do the next step like me and add your foundation. So I have the I Am Magic foundations from Juvia's Place. I have the shade Tanzania in the shade Kenya. I'm gonna make sure to shake these well. That's one of the instructions. Shake, 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 shake. Get all the ingredients nice and flowed. And I'm gonna mix these two together to get my complexion shade. I might have to go in and contour a little bit because y'all know my neck is far more darker than the rest of my body. I actually went through a um, photo album and I saw like some of my younger pictures and my neck has always been this way y'all like I don't know it's always been this way but anyways we're gonna take that foundation mix it together mix 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 I'm gonna place it right on top of the radiance booster so yeah the radiance booster to me is basically like a tinted moisturizer slash foundation it's gonna give you that glow from within and make sure y'all check out my commercial okay on TikTok and Instagram I will be posting it on my Facebook as well and I might post it as a short on here so y'all can see it but support your girl okay and look at my video cuz yeah I'm literally the producer I'm the muse I'm the businesswoman, like I'm everything jumbled up in, into one. Like I do literally everything by myself, y'all. I don't have a team. I actually had a, a social media manager to reach out to me and wanting me to like, well, they wanted to represent me. So I said I was gonna do like a three month trial to see how it goes. If I like it, then I'll keep them. If I don't, then I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. But I feel like whenever you have like a manager, a social media manager, they, they're they able to actually use their expertise to get you better brand deals and better exposure. They know the tactics a little bit better like when it comes down to posting on TikTok and Instagram, YouTube, like they'll do the nitty gritty behind the scenes stuff and I'll just do the fancy stuff. So right about now, I'm looking very, very orange. I know this y'all, but I'm about to go in and lighten my face up with my concealers and we're gonna even my skin tone out. I'm also gonna contour a little bit as well. Um, but we want to make sure, I just want to make sure that I'm actually using my Juvia's Place products the correct way. So, I'm going to take, what do I want to take? I want a bright, bright under eye. Like, I want my under eye to be very doll-like. I'm making so much noise. So, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Concealer. This is the shade Light Peach. And I'm going to put it right under my eyes. Just like this I know it looks crazy y'all I know but trust my process I need a sponge as well I want to make sure that I lock my face into place with some um, powders as well because although it is radiant I don't want to look greasy and just muddy so yeah I'm taking my sponge from Airy Winkle and I'm literally gonna tap 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 pat 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 swiper no swiping I'm gonna use my mirror to see what I'm doing. This concealer right here is very matte, so that's why I'm trying to hurry up and blend this out because if I don't, it's not gonna be a good look, okay? My sponge is dry, by the way, and boom, I look crazy, okay? I know this. Now I'm gonna go in and blend the edges a little bit more. And then I'm going to go on with some more concealer. So I'm taking that brush and going along the nose. I'm going to use the drier side to blend a little bit more. So this time I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 14. It's kind of the same shade, but it's more on the pink side. Like the undertone is kind of pink. 
spoon, put a little bit right here on my chin, and two dots on my nose. I literally put too much on my nose because I didn't need that much. My under eye is looking like how I want it to look. That lifted baby doll effect. And now I'm gonna go in and set my concealed areas. Okay, so to set my under eye, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Press Powder shade 332 first and then shade 310. 310 is gonna give me that lightning effect. It's the same color as the concealer, but 332 is gonna kind of dim it down. But it's a foundation brush and I'm gonna literally tap it along all the areas that has concealer. Okay, and now I'm gonna take shade 310. And I'm gonna put it towards my tear duct area and that's it. Okay, so I also have the Juvia's Place powder foundations. I have the shade Deep Dark number two and tan number one. And I'm gonna put the Deep Dark number two on first to go along the jawline because it is kind of like a contour shade. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. brush and tap this in just to kind of bring my neck together with the face. And then I'm gonna put tan number one on top. I'm gonna put it on my nose just to chisel my nose up. And then now, the name for it is Kaduna. And then the dark, the deep dark is called Niger. So now we're gonna put this right here. And I'm basically locking that radiance booster as well as my radiance foundation in place. I do feel like a little bit of the Juvia's Place foundation as well as the Radiance Booster goes a long way because you don't want to be too, too greasy. It's very, very like moisturizing, so to speak. It kind of has like an oil base to it. So you want to make sure if you're using it, you want to lock it in really, really well with the powder. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 35 and... I'm gonna go right here and right here just to kind of blend those two sections out. The under eye, look at that Maybelline, y'all. I'm telling you, one of the best powders ever. And this lets me know that it works good with the Juvia's Place ingredients. Like, wow, that looks good. My camera is not giving this look any justice, but trust the process. Just wait on it. Anytime you're using a liquid that's like very liquidy, you want to make sure you lock it in with the powder, okay? So I'm also going to take the Maybelline. This is shade number 40. I'm going to go along my mouth and my smile lines because I like to smile a lot and I don't want any creasing right here, but it literally gave me a camouflaged finish. Wow. I feel like this is one of the best powders ever. The formula is so good. Like this is the powder you need for like if you're an oily girl, even if you have dry skin, like this powder needs to be in your staple kit, for real, for real. And boom. So we're almost finished. I gotta add some blush to my face. I kinda wanna add orange blush because orange on melanin is just a vibe. 
so I'm not finished okay I know it's a lot but don't judge me because y'all already know don't start with me now because y'all know I, I go above and beyond okay I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier and I'm gonna kind of bake a little bit because I am gonna use some blush and contour I'm gonna put my Laura right here and right here and we're gonna let this sit I'm gonna also put it on my nose but I'm gonna drag it out a little bit to give me that baby doll look I don't know if y'all can tell, but the face is coming together slowly but surely. And the scenes, like, I love y'all down. Y'all know y'all my favorites, okay? Don't tell nobody else I said that. I don't technically own a orange um, blush, so I'm going to take this orange right here from out of this Warrior 2 palette. My stomach is growling, y'all. I'm so hungry. Y'all see how every little step counts? Like, every step plays a huge part in how your makeup turns out. And I love that. Like, these finishing touches. Like, literally, we're doing the finishing touches right now. Just adding and, you know, adding an extra little boost. So now I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place bronzer and go right underneath that shadow. I know y'all hear my stomach. That's embarrassing. And I'm gonna put it on the bridge of my nose. Okay, and I'm gonna go back into that shadow yet again just to add it back because I just lost it like that like that y'all mm -mm, that is unacceptable huh? let me hurry up so I can eat where do I want food from is the question Cause by the time you cook, it's gonna be the same thing. And I ain't got time to be waiting. Okay, so I'm just gonna get me some heat, honey. Now I'm taking my Ofra highlighter. And we're gonna put it on the tip of the nose. Okay, y'all, we almost done, honey. We almost done. So I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lash line. Now this time, I'm gonna actually use my Smashbox because I just love how it just clumps and gets the lash together. So this is the super fan. And I'm trying to debate whether or not I wanna add like a liner. added my mascara but I think I want to add a little bit of brown so I'm gonna take the bronzer and I'm gonna take the lightest shade this color right here I'm gonna take and put it along my lash line kind of like towards the edge um, and leave that be in the meantime between time I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out right here it's giving doll okay is giving doll face so yeah i'm gonna add some brown right here and i might add a little white right here just to open my eyes up a smidget more this is a morphe m443 brush and i'm literally gonna it's like a pointer type of brush it's small and dainty so it can get up in this area without you know disrupting anything else 
I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but I do. I'm gonna definitely spray my face as well, but before I do that, I need to add some white shadow. So I'm gonna take the Warrior 2 palette again. This is the Morphe M506. My other brush that I normally use is dirty. So I'm just gonna use this one and open my eyes up a smidgen more. Using my all nighter spray, I'm not gonna use any Dewey's, no nothing, because the product that I use was kinda on the dewy, oily side, so. Whew. Like that, and we're gonna allow this to dry down. Okay, so I'm putting my chapstick on. And I'm gonna take my Trendsetter Lip Liner from Morphe, y'all. This is all I got love, honey. Matter of fact, yeah, I'ma use something else because they discontinued it and I'm like, why? What was the point? Because you messing with me and my homegirls and we don't too much care for that. I don't too much like that day. Like, bring it back, please. Okay, I need some more. Now, if I would've known that, I would've racked up, but you know, it was so sudden. So I'm gonna take the Ruby Kisses. Is this the Ruby Kisses? No, this is the Absolute New York um, Gel Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. Okay, so I'm gonna tone my lip down to bring it back up, but I'm gonna take the Airy Winkle Lipstick in the shade Gossip, and we're gonna put this in the middle of the lip. Just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the Absolute New York. This is the same gel liner. This time I'm gonna take the shade Brown. Now I'm gonna lift my lips up a little bit more. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is the shade Loyalist. And I'm gonna take my bronzer. I'm gonna mix both of those browns together and put it along my lip liner. Okay, so now I'm almost done, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm almost there, honey. So now I'm going to take some clear gloss and go along the lip liner portion. And then I'm gonna take this LA Colors lip gloss in the shade Wink. And now a little more clear gloss. This is a lot, I know y'all. The things I will do to get that look, okay? Okay, y'all, I am so in love. Like, this is giving grown woman Ariel right now. Like, it's giving rich auntie. It's giving I'm that girl. Like, the hair color, the top, the melanin, the makeup. Like, it's eating. It's definitely eating. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys did enjoy this video, give me a brown heart down below so I can know that you guys made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And until next time, bye, y'all.